Good morning guys, it's Alan from Rock Gyms in Cape Town and I'm going to be taking you through today, Tuesday the 7th of April's workouts, which will be two 10 minute EMOMs and a workout consisting of five rounds of four movements. Let's get stuck in. Alright guys, first up we have our warm up for today, which is going to be three rounds of three walkouts, ten walk ups, five push ups, five sit ups and three burpees. Let me show you what those are all about. First one is called a walkout. We start standing tall from here, walk it out. Stretch, push it back, stretch through the shoulders, walk our hands back towards our feet. That is one. From there we have 10 walk ups, which means we'll start on our elbows and press up onto our hands and then back down. What you'll do is you'll end up doing five on one side and then five up on the other, followed by five push ups, chest to the ground, five sit ups, Touch the floor, touch your toes, and followed lastly by three burpees all the way to the top. Three rounds of that. Off you go. As for our first EMOM, we'll be working for 10 minutes. We will be performing five Arnold press on your right arm and five Arnold press on your left, followed by five clap push ups. Let me show you the variations and what we'll be doing today. You can use a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or an odd object if you would like. We start with the object underneath the chin. We rotate our shoulders out and up, finishing with a press above the head, down and back around, okay? That mo movement is critical because you want to create stability in the shoulder. You'll be doing five on your left and then five on your right from the side, out and up, down and back, okay? If you don't have equipment today, instead of that Arnold press, you can be doing a pipe push-up where it looks like this, feet up on a chair or on a bench, Hands here, head to the floor, and press out. So, five Arnold press per side, or ten piked push-ups, followed by five clap push-ups. Now, what we're looking for, again, good position, chest to the floor, and a nice clap. If you need to scale this and do it on your knees, that's fine. On our knees, press, clap, or on our knees, and just push so your hands leave the ground a little bit okay we really want to focus on that power uh, and that explosiveness at the bottom of the push-up five press on each arm five push-ups that every minute for 10 minutes off you go right guys welcome back our second imam for today will also be for 10 minutes and we'll be doing two movements the upright row and the isometric bent over row hold okay how this is going to look i'm using a dumbbell for this demonstration we can hold the dumbbell with our handle in the middle. We'll be pulling the bar, I mean the weight close to our body. Elbows nice and hard to under the chin. One, two, let me show you from the side. Nice high elbows all the way down, all the way up. We're looking for 10 reps of that today. You can use school bag full of books. You can use uh, obviously your dumbbell, your weight plate, whatever you have available. And then we're gonna do a 15 second hold in a bent over row position. So again, I'm using my dumbbell. We're gonna hit arms straight, hinge over at the hips from here. We're gonna pull our shoulders back, bring the weight into our bellies as tight as we can, and we're gonna hold here for 15 seconds, keeping everything nice and tight, the shoulders back, and our heads front. Watch the clock and relax. So, 10 upright rows, a 15 second hold every minute for 10 minutes. Go for it. It's time for our workout, the daily. Today we've got five rounds of 20 kettlebell swings, 10 windmill push-ups, 10 burpees over your object, and 10 sit-ups, all right? I'm gonna demonstrate all of those movements now and give you an option for each. All right, first up we have the kettlebell swing. Obviously, if you have a kettlebell, that's first prize. You can, of course, also use a dumbbell, a weight plate, or of course, a backpack filled with some, some goods from the cupboard or some of those school books lying around or textbooks. Um, and we're gonna do 20 of those, all right? So, start nice and tall. We're hinging at the hip. And we're getting it to our height. Rule of thumb, we wanna try and get that kettlebell or that object up to the height of your eyes, okay? So we have 20 of those, followed by 10 windmill push-ups. All that means is, it's a regular push-up, except we open up at the top. So, down, one, down, two, down, three, okay? 
If you need to scale that to on your knees or just do regular push-ups, that's also, of course, totally fine. We then move on to 10 burpees over our object. So if you're using a bag, it'll be over the bag. If you're using a kettlebell, over the kettlebell. Whatever it was for you. Today I've got my kettlebell. So the idea being, I'm going to do a burpee. And then I'm going to jump over it. Okay? I'm going to do a burpee on the other side and jump over it. Of course, if you want to do a burpee this side, jump over that way. You can do that. Okay? I'm going to do a burpee on the other side and jump over it. Of course, if you want to do a burpee this side, jump over that way. You can do that. Or if your object isn't very big or you want to just scale that down, do a burpee and a little hop to the side like that and you're good to go. And then last but not least, we have our sit-up. So we're reaching all the way back and then touching our feet at the bottom. So feet at the top. Or if you want to add a little bit of weight to that, weight plate up, press it up at the top for a little bit of extra difficulty and get 10 of those done as well. We've got five rounds of that today, so good luck. And uh, please, don't forget to tag us on social media. Been a pleasure as always.